Welcome back, my name is Benji, and today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 once again for the uh, second part of our Giro playthrough on the Eolo Cometo career mode. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on the next seven stages, starting on this one. We've got this one as well, Campo Felice, with the final gravel section. We have a flat stage in Foligno, Montalcino gravel sections. We've got Bagno di Romagna transitioning stage. We've got a flat stage in Verona, and finally the Monte Zonclan stage. Fortunato won in real life. Let's try and replicate that. Let's get started with Guardia San Framondi, the first stage of today. That is a hill part at the end, but a mountain in the middle. I feel like this is a Wackerman stage looking at it, but I might put him in the breakaway because I do feel like the break might have an opportunity here. We've got the Malia Rosa. Let's try and defend it. Oh my god, a plus five on Fortunato again. Here we go. It's about to go down. Seven kilometers towards the end of today's stage. Fancelu is setting up ready for Gavazzi and Wackerman. Fortunato just safely staying in the back of this group in an attempt to keep his jersey as safe as possible. We've got Wackerman in second wheel. Gonna drop you because you're gonna be in the way otherwise. And let's go 99 with Gavazzi as we speak. There we go. Gonna try and sprint right now, right now, and right now. Come on. Let's see what we got. Wackerman, Wackerman, Wackerman. Let's try and go with Fortunato. 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 He's gonna take it. First with Fortunato, third with Wackerman, a first stage win of the episode, and our uh, second stage win of the Giro on the podiums once again. Second time this Giro for Fortunato, well, technically more than two, but for a stage win, second time. The bonus second strengthen our lead to 30 seconds on Kafi, 42 seconds on Bernal, and 51 on Kelderman. We've had a really good Giro so far, and this is just an extra thing to that, and I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. I think we can get four stage wins if we uh, play it right. Campo Felice, we've got the next mountain stage. I don't know how this is going to be ridden, but I do know we've got a plus four expected race day condition on Lorenzo Fortunato. So uh, let's hope that's a plus five in the race. So I had people in the breakaway, Fancello and Fetter, and then I didn't. So this isn't exactly going the way I was planning to have it go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull Fetter back to the peloton. He's going to be useful there more than just sitting in between breakaways, to be honest. The breakaway is about to start the Ovindoli climb, 13.6 kilometers of 4.8% average, so nothing that amazing. In the peloton, we're looking good with Fortunato. We've got Fancello and Wackerman all in full force, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put Wackerman on, protecting Fortunato, Fancello in the wheel, and just ride it the way I usually do. We're being brought under pressure by DSM, who's pacing for, I think, Jai Hindley here, and... Uh, it's killing a few of our riders, but Fortunato's looking pretty fine, to be honest. I can actually lower him towards like 75 again, because DSM won't be uh, moving the needle here. It's dependent on whether Ineos decides to uh, go ham with Martinez, Gegenhardt, and Thomas against us. Honestly, only pacing 50, I'm fine with the breakaway winning. Hindley actually made the move from the peloton, so that's pretty nice to see. But Fortunato's looking fine energy-wise and in total teammate-wise a bit as well because the others have returned, which is great. We don't need to be the offensive rider. Kemna's going. We've got Freyle, Sanchez, Piccolo. What for? Nobody knows. So uh, they can keep on doing that. Thomas moving forward for Bernal. That's the person I need to be scared of. But we've got only four kilometers left, so I might as well go ham with Fortunato here. Carfi's actually attacking us which is a, a pretty important rider to catch. So let's try and get back towards him. Let's see if we can uh, do so safely. And if we can, then uh, it's honestly not looking too bad. 2.2 kilometers to go. Ah, here is the gravel section. 91, 92. And hopefully we can make our way back. Thomas is blocking us a tiny bit. Let's go 90 again. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. And I'm going to wait a bit more, I'm going to wait a bit more, I'm going to wait a bit more. Half kilometer, let's start sprinting now. In the wheel of Fulsang and Bernal. They're not going to gain time on me, I think. I think that this is a good moment to go. We've got a stage win by Perez, Anthony Perez ahead of uh, Davide Villela. We're actually going to almost pass Bernal here and we're going to finish just with him and gain time on Kafi, I think. Unless this is counted as one group, which I doubt because Hirschi and Fulsang, there's a proper gap in there for me. Not a day where we gain time, but not one where we lose time. So that's good. Anthony Perez wins the stage, so uh, congratulations, Kofidis. 
I might have underrated you at the start of this Giro. GC wise, this brings us 42 seconds ahead of Bernal, Kellerman on 51, but Hugh Coffey drops to fourth position, one minute and two seconds down. We're basically extending our lead, which is crazy to think about. We are not looking good when it comes to the Maglia Azura, but since we're going for Maglia Rossa, I don't think that this goal is something I want to focus on as well. Good result by Fortunato, but oh my god, Coffey collapsed in the latter part. Crazy. Car even finished better. Why did he not wait? Nobody knows. Every flat stage is a stage we can just keep the Maglia Rossa, but it's also a stage where we can't gain time in the Maglia Rossa classification because we need it with that final time trial. We can't go with an advantage of 50 seconds to the final time trial. We're going to lose like four minutes. Let's be real here. Now, wouldn't it be nice if Fortunato and uh, Fancello could keep those plus fives for the mountain stages and not for a flat stage that won't have an influence on GC? Into the final four and a half kilometers, Archibald going mad means that the others can't really follow that well, so I need to make sure I don't spend too much energy. Let's go 99 on this section, perhaps. Yes, indeed. Now I'll switch Sheru towards Fetter, perhaps a bit on the right to make sure this guy doesn't block any of his teammates. There we go. I'm going to start sprinting with Fetter right now. Pretty straight road, but there seems to be a corner there. I'm pretty scared about it. Let's try and launch right now. Wackerman, let's try and go past. Come on, come on, come on for top three. Yeah, I think we're going to get third again. Awesome ride. Pretty happy about that, to be honest. Yes, indeed. Wackerman comes in third. Needs a low in second, but the winner is once again Caleb Ewan. Ooh, this was a close one. <laughs> Almost dropped with Fortunato there. That is not supposed to happen. Lotto with another Dubsky. Us with another podium. Abanese also eighth, by the way. Not that it really matters. Decent result, but another damn thing. So let's take a look at stage 11. Ooh la la, Montalcino. I have one huge benefit when it comes to the parkour of Montalcino in this game. The fact that I'm going to be playing the one made by the developers, the shit version. Because if I was going to play the community made version that they actually put extra time into to have cobble stat effect the performance of your riders to make it realistic, well, then I would have been devoured because my team cannot ride cobbles. My god. Plus four on the day. Fancelu. Plus four on the day. Oh my god. This is great. Wakerman. Plus five on the day. Oh fuck. 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 Oh no 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 no. Everybody back. The entire bloody team except for Wakerman. There we go. Everybody needs to get to Fortunato now. And we're back. Thanks to the entire team. Wonderful, wonderful work by the team. Let's get them to the front ASAP. We just passed the first Tirato. The other riders were still on it here, but I'm having a hard time getting to the front. I gotta be real honest about that. I um, I hope that I can get to the front before we get to the uh, next Tirato section, because otherwise this might become a real problem. I don't know how to get to the front on these narrow sections. I just gotta try and hope I can move past somehow on this climb, which is the... Uh, Castiglione del Bosco, which is a, a very steep part on the second Sterato. I don't know how I'll do it. I'm going to try and just 99 it with Fancello and hope that I am at the front of the group by the top. This is pure chaos. I've got no clue where my riders are. I've got no clue where Walkerman is hanging out at the front here somewhere. It looks like we've got pace by Conchi, who's riding like a madman. My riders are literally splattered all over this group somewhere. Fortunato's energy is horrendous. How the hell am I going to get a good situation at the end of the stage? I found my way to the front. Everybody's gone except for Wackerman. Dina's gonna try and get back to the front. Ah, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Damn it. Yeah, that's a bummer. But um, at least I've got Wackerman to protect Fortunato. I just need some energy back on the man because right now that is not there. We are literally going from crisis to crisis. I'm trying to follow every other group, but um, so far we are surviving. My god, we've got a solid ride to go, 17 kilometers, but we've got a descent to recover. But after that, we've got an uphill section, and right now, it's really not looking good. I'm getting blocked by people. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Let's 90 it for a tiny bit. Let's try and move up ASAP. Come on, come on, come on. The rider at the front is done for. This is the moment where we can get back up in a good position. Kagan Hart is intentionally obstructing us. That is... A UCI rule. Get the fuck out of here, mate. 75. 70. Come on. Hang on. Attack is coming. Cam Napino. That's not too horrible, I'm guessing. 149. I don't like it, but 
What can I do about it? Nothing. I can just follow. Okay, we're still looking good. We're still looking good. 1.4k towards the top. And then we've got a descent to the line. So if I can move forward, that would be ideal. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, move forward, move forward, move forward. 900 meters towards the top. Come on, come on, come on. Should I attack? I think I should with Wackerman. Give him the stage. There we go. Let's move towards 25 and hopefully this attack by Wackerman works. There we go. Attack by Luca. He's going to take the stage. There we go. Easy stage win. Last game coming. Going to try and sprint with Fortunato, but it's already done for. Luca Wackerman takes the stage. Our third stage win right here, right now. And uh, let's celebrate. Let's take a look where Fortunato finishes. Are we going to get third? Yes, we're going to get bonus seconds. That is ideal. Perfect. That was a scary stage. Is that a gap? I think it's a gap, but I don't think the game is going to count it as a gap. The most stressful stage so far. It's a gap! Seven seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Maglia Rosa even further away from Bernal and the rest. 53 seconds on Bernal. Kelderman 102, Carfion 113. We keep expanding the lead and we need to. Let's keep that up. Wait a second. We wear Chiclamino with Wackerman. Yeah, let's make it a goal as well. A 1-3 on the stage. Halfway it looked like it wasn't going to happen. That crash with Fortunato put everything upside down. Horrible crash and we had to put the entire team in action. We just got back before the first Serato and uh, just in time to try and move forward on the Serato sections. And we achieved it with a lot of struggle. I can tell you that. I've lost at least seven years of my life in this stage. On to the next stage to survive. Bagno di Romagna. Whew. I'm going to likely play this relatively defensively, not go on any crazy attack, just stay in the peloton, safely with Fortunato. And if I have energy more than the others on that final third cat hill, I'm gonna try and expand the lead. But we're no Ineos, we can't control a stage like this, we gotta do it defensively. Oh la 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 la. Oh, plus five Fortunato. He's very Fortunato, that's for sure. We're on the Paso della Cala. I'm playing it pretty defensively. Let's up it towards 85 though, because we're getting out positioned here. And let's get Wackerman to protect us to crawl back. We've got Fancello still left. And uh, the reason I'm using Wackerman before Fancello is because his stats are like significantly lower. But Fancello's energy isn't exactly looking too nice either. We've got Moscon dropping, Villela dropping. Tempo's going pretty high right now up there, probably because I'm behind, but that's not going to be for long. I've got plenty of energies to come back on top in the final kilometer here. So no need to worry, guys. No need to worry. And we've got to move. Castro Viejo's going. We've got other people following. Let's hope we can get Fancello over the top of this climb, which looks like it's going to happen. That is perfect. Let's regenerate fully in the descent and then uh, go ham on Banho di Romagna's final climb, which is Paso del Carnaio. The climb's about to start. A solo leader in the race, which is Vingiga. We're sitting here with Wackerman as final man to protect us on this climb. Fancello's done for, so he can just rest up while... um. We're going to try and uh, follow everything the others do here with Fortunato. We've got to move. There goes Hindley. We've got other people following. That is Hirschi and Thibaut Pinot, who's now on two minutes. So he's further in last stage. Gellerman trying to close. That's something we need to watch out for. Same for Garfi. All good for now. Let's move it down towards 65 again. And let's wait. Oh, an attack. Let's go 85 and try and follow whatever's happening here. 88. Come on, Fortunato. Don't give up on me now, brother. Four kilometers towards the top. Come on. The others there are suffering. I hope that Bernal is suffering up there. 20 seconds towards the front. Plenty of energy for now. Let's keep on going on 90. And let's try and crawl back on this flat section together with Mark Hirschi. Let's hope he works together with me. Is anybody almost done for in this front group? Not really. We've got 1.5k towards the top. Hirschi's done for. And we've got Garfi done for. Come on, don't block me. Did you see that? That's, 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 that's not allowed. That's not allowed. Bernal, and we're closing in towards Bernal. And we're going to be in his wheel right here. Can I still attack on the left side of the road, perhaps? There we go, 99. Let's see if this does anything. No response by Fulsang, or is he? Adds Bernal to our wheel. Yes, indeed. Damn it. Four kilometers to go. Bernal keeps on pacing. Let's just stay in his wheel. He shouldn't keep on pacing. That's just a bit stupid, isn't it? What does he think he's doing? He's starting an attack. Okay, with 3k to go. Sure, give me a lead out. Thank you, man. I'm fine with it. There we go. 
2 kilometers to go, 1.5, 1.4, 1.3, 1 1.1. And we're going to start sprinting with Fortunato on the left side of the road. Let's get more seconds than Bernal. And the rep. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't lose time. Don't lose time. Don't make that a gap. Don't make that a gap. Oh, that's not a gap. That's good. Whew. Don't care about full sign. He's on 2 minutes 50. So no worries there. Stage win, not by us, but we. Oh, we lost seconds. We lost three seconds there. I did not see three seconds. That's a lie. That is a lie. But not that big of a deal. When it comes to the Malia Rosa, this brings Bernal on 48 seconds. We need more time on him. We need to do it in Zonkolan, I guess. A quick look at GC does offer us positivity because we've got Bernal on 48 seconds, but the rest of the competition, Tafi on 220, Fulsang on 226, Kelderman on 338, Hirschi on 410, Pinot on 428, Nibli on 502. This is looking good overall. Flat stage time to Verona, as basic as it is, let's go for a sprint. The sprinters are gone. All the sprinters are gone. They went for the intermediate sprint, and now they are gone. Because nobody's catching them again. Because I have to do it now. That's bloody funny. I might as well, I actually, actually for memes, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it, you can have it. You can have the stage, I want to see how far this goes. It's actually happening. Genuinely happening. These sprinters rode away at the intermediate sprint. They're seven minutes ahead. I don't want to take over. I'm fine with them taking the stage. Like, it's just funny for me. And at the front, we've got the three breakaway riders, the original ones that are now going to win the stage because of it. Because these guys aren't pacing. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Suddenly, the people in the peloton are, uh, are pacing. Ryabushenko, Rota and such. I don't know why they're going to catch these sprinters, but... That's about it. At the front, we've got Van Kessel having trouble with Della Valle and Malucelli. We can officially sign this off as the most bugged stage of this Giro. Malucelli takes it ahead of Della Valle and Van Kessel. Peloton finishes on 722 because uh, they sprinted for an intermediate sprint. It's honestly hard to wrap my head around what I just experienced. Like, we... What? Okay. Anyway, next stage. Okay. The moment has arrived. The last stage of today's episode, Citadella. To Monte Zoncolan, the stage Fortunato won in real life. Let's take a look. We've got this climb, but most importantly, where does the uh, narrow section start? Looks like it's about two, three kilometers into the climb. Not that far. I need to be at the front there. Fancello, it's your turn already. Uh, nah, Dina, it's your turn already. Fancello in the wheel. Let's try and move forward though, because my positioning at this section is not well. We gotta get rid of Wackerman. Let's move through on the left with Fortunato. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's do 73 for now. Let's hope we can hang on. Let's hope we can hang on. I'm getting pushed to the back a bit. Stanard, no, 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 don't do this to me. Let's move forward, let's move forward. Let's make sure we're in a good position. Let's go 75 to do so. 80 even. Dina's still here, energy shell. We're not gonna have too many teammates on this one, I'm afraid. I'm going to try and set my own tempo, but I got to move forward now. I got to move forward because the narrow section's coming. Can I do so on the right side of the road? Come on. Let's not get blocked by anybody. There we go. Good, good, good. Good position. Kirshi's off the front, but at least we're not getting blocked right now, which is the good part. Narrow section's coming up right there after the corner, so let's try and move to the front. Let's not get blocked by Thomas here. There we go. Attacked by Vingago and Fulsang. Bernal's trying to respond. Let's go back to uh, 70, 68, something like that. Let's keep on going. We're gonna use our energy gel pretty soon, I'm afraid. Oh, we got blocked a tiny bit by Conchi there. We're now out positioned. We're a good 20 seconds, 30 seconds behind Gru Bernal. Passing Mohoric, really? That was on purpose. I saw that. I saw that, mate. Another attack up front by Fulsang. I cannot respond to attacks like that. Five kilometers to go. Energy shell done. Let's move up on the right of the road. There we go. Let's go to 70. We don't have too much. That's Group Bernal. We gotta try and get close to that. Garfi done for on the left. This might be the day where we lose Maglia Rossa, I'm afraid. Car, get out of the way. Bloody cars on the road these days. We're now a minute 32 behind with 2k to go. I cannot go faster. Bernal's done for though. Can I move back to that? I don't think I can. With like 2k to go, let's go 69. Let's get as close as possible, but I think we're giving away the jersey today. One kilometer for the uh, front of the race, 1.8 for us. Let's keep going on 67, something like that. 
I'm afraid today is the day that realism is hitting us. Fortunato is not able to win the Giro, I'm afraid. Unless a miracle happens, because right now, we're gonna lose a lot of time to Bernal, who is dying in front of us, in front of our eyes. But, unfortunately, outside of our grasp. The stage is gonna be won by Fulsang, head of Hirschi, Kemna, Bernal, Kreisweig. And I think I'm gonna be dropping to third position in GC, perhaps? That's my guess right now, because I think Fulsang might pass us. It's gonna be a close one. I think he does not. I think we're second. Bernal is the new leader after today's stage. Fortunato on 21 seconds, Fulsang and third on 55 seconds. We're on the podium still, but ah, on the damn Zonkolon of all places. The one stage I needed to do well in with Fortunato is the one where we lose the jersey. Like, it would have been a miracle if we stayed in Malia Rosa for another week and a half, but I still feel slightly salty about the fact that it happens on this climb, and I do blame the, the potential blocks here and there by other riders on the climb as well, but that's how the game works. Positioning is key, and I, I wasn't in the ideal one because I wasn't strong enough to be in the ideal one. Fortunato on 21 seconds of Bernal. In the next episode, we're going to be playing the following stages. That is 15 to 21, finishing off the Giro d'Italia. We've got starting the stage in Gorizia. Well, the finishing part at least. That's the Slovenian stage. Small hill at the end. Could be fun. After that, Cortina Lampezzo, the Paso Giao, but the one that was never completely ridden. Segariala stage, just after that, two ascensions. The final one being a pretty steep one. Then Stradella, which means that we've got a huge stage, 228 kilometers, but... Only the latter section has a few hills, and I might try and put some pressure on Bernal on those hills. Second last mountain stage is Alpinimera, that's this one. Not much opportunity to attack early because the valleys in between are too huge. Last mountain stage, Maresimo Alpe Motta. Three climbs, starting off with the San Bernardino, then we've got the Paso de los Pluga, and we finish off with the Alpe Motta climb. Eventually a 29 kilometer time trial to finish it off. On this one, we are likely going to lose minutes. We're now in second, going into the last week in the next episode of this Giro d'Italia. Very much looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. And I guess I'll be seeing you around at that point. Goodbye.